can you make money racing super late model man cars? no even everybody if, even when everything like even no. when everything's clicking it's got to be perfect but no everybody that's what everybody thinks that's one thing and i'm not saying this everybody thinks i do this for a living they do i i can't do it for a living I don't know why people think, oh, he races all the time. He, I don't race all the time. That's where everybody thinks they know me. They don't know. Yep. When's your next race? Uh, two weeks. After that, probably another two weeks. Another two weeks. So you're racing every. You're racing twice a month. Racing, racing twice a month. Yeah. You got yep. like a cars tour schedule. Yep. That's perfect. Yep. Everybody so. needs. See, the best, in my opinion, the best cup NASCAR Cup schedule was 28 races. Yeah. Because you get a lot of off weekends. You got to have that. Yep. You got to get the hell away. You got to do stuff with the family. Yeah, you, you know, got to have run. a life. Yeah, you, you got to run your little it. dirt track. That's it. Um, them little girls are growing up. That's right. You got to spend time with them. How Playing many ball. kids you got? I got three girls. So Jeez. I guess you want to try again? I don't know. <laughs> Three's a lot. I know. I just what's one more, right? I know. At that point, <laughs> I guess you're right. You know, because three's when you're like, oh, you know, it's zone coverage. Yeah. yeah. And then. Yeah, what's one more? I don't know, man. I just um, I got a seven year old, four year old, and a four month old. Yep. And the girl, uh, my oldest one's into softball now. She loves so that. She's gonna be doing. Yeah, you gotta yep. be taking her around doing yep. that. So and I, and I hate to to so be away, you know. You don't pay. So you're still running your own race team. I'm still running my own race team. You don't pay yourself. I don't pay myself. I have never gotten paid to drive any race car I've ever driven. Ever. Ever. No no percentage of the, no, no, you win 56 grand? Everything I win goes right back into the race team. Yep. How do you make a living? Oh, my dad, he, uh, he gets into a little bit of everything. Yeah. Um, but you know, when I, I, I'd kind of, my parents had took care of me. My, my parents, my dad wants me to race. We've done it as a family all these years. Mm -hmm. They want me to race. Um, but you know, when I got married and started having kids, I was like, I can't keep doing this. I got to yeah. have something of my own. So um, we started, my dad's, hey, let's, let's, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I couldn't, well, I've always helped them in the family business. My dad, my parents are in the trash business and they've been very successful. They've, they've worked hard. My parents are, my dad's hard work and my, mo my mother, my sister runs it now. Um, and she spots for me. So she's gone every weekend. Just, she doesn't have yeah. a life. Like, so I, um, what is the business? We were, so we're in the trash business. They own, they, they own they, trucks. They own trucks. So we own, they own, uh, 20, 30 trash for the, trucks. For the city? Uh, we do cities, counties, the rural areas. Damn. We do everything. Yeah. So we do that. We're in the toilet business with porta potties. Mm -hmm. Uh, my dad's always been a farmer. He's like, he got, he's got cows. So um, he's got about 200 cows uh, that we farm. So I grew up running around chasing cows. Um, like last weekend, we was cutting cutting them and things. And um, <laughs> yeah, it, so it gets exciting around our place. Um, he, he's into a little bit of everything. I'm in the septic tank business. I put in septic tanks. So I, I got a <laughs> business. Um, with a, <laughs> yeah, it's it's fun sometimes. Yeah. But it uh, but I go out during the week and we'll we'll put in septic tanks two or three times Monday, Tuesday. Um, so you got a septic tank business right now? Yep. So we put in sewer and and things like that. Yep. And that's so you're messing with this racetrack. Does the racetrack pay you ever? Nope. Racetrack doesn't pay either. So um, everything's go goes back into the racetrack and we work hard. Uh, just um, get it ready each and every week. We're cutting grass, cleaning toilets, like we said. So whatever it takes. When I wake up in the mornings, I don't know what I'm doing. It's whatever needs to be done. Gotcha. If somebody lays out of work, we're going over there. If, yeah. if this guy don't show it, we're going over here. If we turn over a truck, we got to clean it up, you know? So uh, I don't know what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> um, everything happens right around the hometown, though. It does, yeah. We've been we've been right there. Uh, everything's right there at the house. The race shop is about 10 minutes from the house. Yeah. What's uh, the race shop look like? It's an old-school, old construction building. Like, uh, they run trucks out of there. We went, Diddy, Diddy bought it as an auction, at, at an auction. Uh, it was auctioning off that day. And he went How many cars you got in there? Uh, so I, th there for a while, I got a lot of cars. I had a lot of cars, but I'm down to two cars. Two race cars. Two race cars. And got I got any? a dirt car. I enjoy the dirt racing. You so. still race dirt? Yep. Piddling just at your home track? But we, I, we run it sometimes when, when a series comes in. I don't run it on a weekly basis or anything like that. So if somebody else is coming in and running the show, I'll race it. But other than that, I don't get to race it much. Do you have any of your old cars? I still got the first late model. 
Where I still got the first late model. The pavement late model? Yep. Where is it at? It's there at the house. What does uh, it look like? It needs to be restored. Yeah. Um, I've had it kind of under the barn. Um, it's still, it's one of, it's an old ASA car from back in the day. Mike Eddie drove it. Damn, yeah, that's it's cool. It's an old primitive car. It's yeah. still got the steel interior in it. The old body, it's like a nine inch Ford. That's so badass. It's an old school. So I still got my first car. I actually got the first two. Um, uh, I turned that one over when I was running at 2005 for that championship. There was one race left. My dad went and bought me another car that week to finish out the deal. And I still got that car. So I got the first two cars I've ever, ever raced. Damn. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm starting to, I got my first Legends car. I found it no, just recently. Awesome. Yeah. It's so funny, man. Um, I dad's like hey you should run this legends car i'm like what the hell is legends car well i'm it's literally i ran in the very first legends race mm -hmm. on sh at charlotte Murray speedway they had a little race there on yep. pole night um and so i drove the car i'm driving is the third legends car ever really? built wow right that's how <laughs> old i am and so i drove this car for that that whole year i was probably uh i was 15 and 16 turned 16 in the middle of it but um, I drove it one year, and one of the one of the final races, um, I wheel hopped this guy, and when it landed, it bent the shock mount on the, mm. on the left rear. I think I remember hearing the story. Yeah. Still, is it still bent? No. So I hammered it straight yeah. and put a gusset in there, yeah. and then welded it up myself. I got you. And so that's how I could tell the chassis yeah, it was, was yours. Mine, that's right. That's same, what it was. Yeah. yeah. I was like, it's only one way. I'll figure that out. Figure this out. <laughs> but uh, I um, I I wonder um during all of this time so you're you know you're you've done you've done everything like i don't know what you haven't done in short track racing because the list is long all the success between the gong show and those arca races with with uh um with um uh with ronnie Ron, no um what's his face um kimmel so between then and you know, now, were there ever any opportunities that almost came together? I've never. Never you, one phone you're the, call? You're the only person that's ever called me. Ever. Really? Not not, not one. No truck team? Nothing. No, no, no sponsor called? No buddy? Hey, man, if we can get this deal together? Nothing. Really? I've now gotten a single call. You were the first call that's ever called me uh, to do the late mall stock. Yeah. I've gotten nothing. Yeah, Damn. some super late mall guys um, here or there you know, drive your stuff. Drive, but yeah. As far as the next level and the top, top or yeah, three tiers of racing, I've, that's I've wild, never gotten man. a call. Yep. Considering, I mean, I don't, you know, that's astonishing that somebody as celebrated as you in pavement short track racing. Well, I found it. You know, people ask me why sometimes, and um, I'm a type of person. Um, I always wanted people to want me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't never, I didn't never, I was, I'm not the, my dad when I was growing up, I never want, I never asked for anything. I never, I wanted people to want me for who I was. Mm -hmm. And I feel like the sport in that trend, that, that time period was going through, I call it the pretty boy stage mm -hmm. where they wanted all the pretty boys. And I was rough around the edges and I uh, still am. And um, I think now it's called coming back a little bit. Um, so I think the timing wasn't right for me, um, in, in going through my career there. I think it just, I was at the wrong stage in life of, of people wanting race car drivers. Um, but I don't know, I don't know why people would never call me, but I yeah. never got the call. And, um, I, I was never the one to go out and ask for anything or, or work. People say you didn't try hard enough. Yeah. It's just not. I wasn't like that. I didn't. I didn't want to go out and ask for people for nothing. So what is what? What do I make of what's changed? So, um, looking at your career and all of your accomplishments, uh, something changed in short track racing in the last probably I don't know five to eight years, where you did all of this stuff. Like you won the winter show, you know, winning the sh winter showdown in 2015, 16 at Kern County, and going to Washington and winning and 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 Canada and all that. None of those things got you the recognition that you're getting today, driving a super late model, right? Like going to the Snowball Derby and running the Super Series mm -hmm. and all of the you know 
running all of that stuff you do in the southeast, you seem to get – I'm just – I don't know what the answer is or really what I'm even asking, but you did so much from like 15 to mm-hmm. 2020, but it seems like you really didn't start getting – recognition for your accomplishments till in the last four or five years yeah. i think like the spotlight on short track racing has gotten larger it has i think i think social media has helped and guys like yourself um and um has, has helped introduce the short track world back to where it used to be yeah i feel like um uh, streaming has changed that yes um Do i you, how much you cuz I want to talk about you know, let's talk about this. So um streaming has come on in the mm-hmm. past, you know, 5 years, right? I remember being able to turn I remember being able to log into Flow and watch Langley uh late model race at Langley and going damn this is awesome. Yep. And it was so sh- one camera. Yeah. Listen, yep. and all you could hear was the PA um and I was fine. Yep. It was perfect. Yep. I was like, hey, I mean, I, otherwise I'd have to drive six hours yeah. to go there and see this. I think that changed everything. I think it, it like I watch racing now. I can, it's nothing to turn on uh, Flow or Race in America and, and see all different types of racing. Yeah. And, and I know people that um, I never would have never known before. Yes. In uh, and, and, and different types of racing. So uh, I keep up with probably the dirt world more than anything, like Bobby Pierce and Davenport and all those guys. And, um, I think it's cool. I think that's the difference in in where we are now yeah. in, in racing. That is. Uh, that's a great point because I think I'm seeing all of your races mm-hmm. live and in person. Yep. I didn't have that option five years yep. ago. I think it's put the fans um, where the fans can get back to what it used to be as far as um, they're having a, a hometown hero. Yeah. I, I feel like. Because I feel like this past weekend at Richmond, I feel like, if it wasn't for the streaming and people being able to watch right, they'd never know who Bubba Pollard was. Yeah. And I think that's helped a lot and it, it helped bring the fans out to Richmond this weekend and, and the response that I've gotten is absolutely crazy. Yep. I would have never known before, you know what I mean?